At this time, I would like to introduce to you our student body president, Peter Bowie. All right. All right, before I begin, please silence off cell phones, and more importantly, take a breath, y'all. Sit back a little bit, relax. Nervous does not look good on y'all. School is out, let's enjoy this. All right. On behalf of the class of 2019, I'd like to welcome all of the parents, faculty, alumni, distinguished guests, friends, and family for joining us on this special day. First off, I'd like to apologize to Martin's English department because this is the first time I'm writing a speech that won't be graded and I'm taking full advantage. <laughs> so in these next moments, instead of worrying about whether I'm demonstrating my critical thinking skills or um, analyzing figurative language, whatever, I decided that this speech is for y'all, the class of 2019, and every word of this speech is gonna be all me. Y'all know I'ma keep it 100. We've been going to school together for four years now. Walked the same halls, gone to the same football games, all gotten pulled over on Pleasant Ridge. Parents, y'all too. But chances are, you've seen many new faces tonight and might not even know the person sitting to your left and right. As I look into the crowd though, I see the beauty of people from a variety of cultures and nationalities all gathered to celebrate our accomplishments. We're all so diverse. And we're all so diverse and different from one another. From tall to short, big to small, STEM kids to the rest of us. <laughs> pretty to really pretty. What's up, Megan? Anyways. Despite our differences, we're all here now in the same place, wearing the same goofy robes, receiving the same diploma. We get to share this one last moment all together before we separate onto different paths. After four years hanging with y'all, I discovered that despite where we came from and where we're gonna go, there is something that we will always share. Three ideals that will carry on with us anywhere we go. Those ideals are none other than Martin's very own passion, commitment, and loyalty. Shout out Martin Football. Yeah. Let me explain. First, passion. Dedicate your life to a passion, not just a paycheck. No matter where you head in the future, find something you love and have fun doing. Because when hours get long and you feel as though the troubles will never end, passion will be the one thing driving your perseverance. Second, commitment. Commit to your passion no matter how long it takes and stick with it. Not just during the highs, but also throughout the, the lows. Because remember, sometimes in life, you may hit the wall, but other times, the wall will hit you harder. Y'all didn't get that? Let me say it again. I said, sometimes in life, you may hit the wall, but other times, the wall will hit you harder. Remember, you could do whatever you want with your life. You just have to be willing to work hard to get it, willing to show true commitment. And lastly, loyalty. Our parents and teachers have invested so much to teach us right from wrong and have been there to keep us in track. We were careless because we knew that when we fell, mama would come pick us up and dust us off. Oh nah, that safety net is gone now. No one will hold you accountable but you. Our parents won't wake us up for school, or stalk us on student self-serve anymore. <laughs> We're about to be exposed to new environments with new ideologies and new influences, and it's crucial that we remember to be loyal to ourselves and to our core values. Have the courage to stand by your beliefs, because mama ain't raised no scared person. Now, on behalf of the student body, I want to give a big thanks to our parents and faculty for guiding us this far shaping and building our foundations. I know you guys are real nervous to send us into the world because even though our IDs say that we're adults, sometimes our behavior is far from it. Yeah, we still kick ice under the fridge. We leave our clothes on the floor, struggle to park straight, or always forget our homework on the desk at home. 
this will definitely be a rough transition to the next chapter of our lives, but we'll make it because we'll remember what all of you have said to us and we'll always remember what you've done for us. But more importantly, because class of 19, we came in as a confident and impactful group, and I know we refuse to go out sorry. Class of 2019, please don't make me look stupid. Our parents are watching. <laughs> are you ready, kids? I, can't I can't hear you. We're ready and capable. I truly wish you all the best in whichever direction you decide to head in life. Be, be phenomenal or be forgotten. Sink or swim. And in the words of poet and philosopher Gunnar, drip or drown. Thank you.